success and failure is probably the only outcome. And it's really hard to, to kind of build up gradually into something. Just to give, offer our audience some career advice. So you are a CEO of a biotech startup. Yeah. What it takes to get there, in your opinion, and what are the errors that other ones that are starting or they want to pursue this type of things, this type of careers uh, should not make, in your opinion? I'm flattered, right? I'm, I'm, I'm CEO of a relatively small startup company in the digital health uh, space. I think that biotech is more of a larger space. The digital health space is kind of a subset of that. So it really depends on where you want to go. But becoming a CEO is not a hard thing. When I just made the transition from being a lawyer to being a CEO, a lot of my respectable colleagues met me and said, you know, what are you doing now? And I said, I'm CEO. And they said, oh, that's, that's awesome. We all want to uh, move out of our profession and become uh, uh, executives. How many people do you have? And I said, it's just me. And they laughed, of course. So just becoming a CEO is not, it's not that difficult. You have to come up with an idea. I think that what you need to remember when you go into this field is that in healthcare, uh, when you compare it to other spaces where you can start a startup, the journey is longer. So you have to multiply the time, the duration of reaching the milestones that you normally reach by two or three. And so I would say the first uh, advice is uh, be very patient and prepare for a long journey if you're going into biotech or healthcare. And oftentimes the results is also binary. So success and failure is probably the only outcome. And it's really hard to, to kind of build up gradually into something.